geared up and ready to rumble. It's bright and early, a little too early, but we're heading out now. Ready to rumble? Yeah, about trap. We're at the trailhead. This is the trailhead right there. We've got about seven miles down. Hopefully the river is completely frozen. We're starting the trek. It's a wee bit chilly. I won't lie. There are several things I wasn't thinking about bringing. Like for some reason I had second thoughts on gloves. Like maybe I won't need gloves. Holy, super glad I brought gloves. And also I'm borrowing Walker's jacket, which is a good idea. Always stay warm. It's better to be over prepared than under prepared, that is for sure. Two worries. Two worries for this trip. One is that the trail, there would be no trail, so we'd be basically plowing through snow. And worry number two that this river right here was gonna be completely open and that we were gonna have to like basically strip down and wade across it. But <laughs> luckily both those things are in perfect check. So, so far our trip is going excellent. <laughs> just left a snow machine here on the side of the trail and at first we were like we couldn't get it started and then Ray got it started. <laughs> no way! Dude, what the Someone fuck? just left a snow machine here. found the reason why it was left here. I'm yeah, that's true. I'm pretty sure they're not coming the back. It's kind of a thing. If you leave the key in it on the side of the trail, you don't want it anymore. <laughs> I had... So a quick little update to exactly what's going on to fully explain. So we found a snow machine on the side of the trail. It had clearly been there for a good while, probably like a week or something like that and it had the key in it, it had gas, and we couldn't get it started at first, but then we got it going, which is pretty crazy, and then we we're like, oh, it doesn't run, because the, the belt wasn't gripping at all, so I was like, that's probably why I was left here. So we let it warm up for a little bit, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> let me get on. Put two people on that yeah, thing. Two people on this and a sled here. Two people on a sled. With people on sleds. Two lucky I call winners. the first ride. One I call the first ride. I'll be. I'll, I'll lay on a sled. I won't get on the first. I'm sorry, I know you didn't want snow machine. Ready? Excellent. I'm ready. Whoa. So that's like who leaves a key in the snow machine and it clearly had been there for a while. 
several days at minimum. So it's like someone had just left it here. And I'm slept, dude. Uh, there's no walker on it, but she's doing fine. Brian and I just got to the hot springs. She's bubbling. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. So what we're planning to do is we tow people back and forth and then when we leave tomorrow we'll leave it closer to the road. Probably we'll leave it across the river that way if the person does come back for it it's not across the river and they can actually get it back. Welcome to my crib. Shall we go in? MTV oh shit! An <laughs> MTV Shane Crib. Yeah. Take us inside the crib, Shane. There you are. Whoa. And it's warm. This is the kitchen, the uh, the living room, the uh, dining room. And in, the warm, and in the warm up room after we freeze our balls off, run down. <laughs> close that, might as well close that. Oh man, my So Ray and I are gonna head back to the car because we have a snow machine. It's not such a bad hike. I wanted to bring my drone, but I didn't because I was like, it's way too big. But since we have a snow machine, might as well, might as well drive back. So I'm gonna head back and grab the drone. Just kidding. All of that, all the drone footage is from the next day. Let me explain. When Ray and I were driving out to get my drone, we got about half a mile out and this guy pulls up and he's like, hey, you guys are driving a snow machine that looks just like mine. And guess what? It was his snow machine. So the previous weekend, I think him and his friend were out and his snow machine stopped working and they spent like hours on it trying to get it going and it just couldn't work. So he's like, you know what, I'll drive out the next weekend and we happen to find it and which is weird is that they left the key in it, but he was totally ch chill about it. He was a really nice guy. His name was Fargo and he actually had a really nice husky pup and so he came back out with like this big sled to tow out his snow machine. So we helped him load it up and then he stuffed the husky pup in his jacket and they left and all was well. So yeah, that is where the current point of the story is at. All right, let's get this fire started. Door is working on making dinner. Mmm. <laughs> I'm excited for dinner. Hurry up, I'm hungry. <laughs> Settle down. Shane's going crazy. Woo! Dinner's getting ready. Getting served, yo! Oh my gosh. <laughs> my lens is completely fogged up. Just me and your two seconds. That's because of that. Uh, really moist because of this water. Oh yeah. <laughs> Come in the sauna or hot springs, whatever it's called. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Not cool. Oh Ian's ready. Oh, there he goes. You guys ready? I will be. Jump in. in. I, I will Come jump on. in. Ooh, ooh, it's hot. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. One thing I realized, a lot of times our water bottles freeze, so I could just stick it in the sauna to unfreeze it. Or, I keep saying sauna, but I mean hot springs. How deep is that? 
So nice. Here comes Shane. Heck nice. yes. Ah. Told you it was nice. It's real nice. I smell like eggs. Yum. Get the door. So it is bright and early. Sun is just starting to come over the hill over there. It's like eight o'clock. We're gonna pack up and head out now. Peace. Peace out. <laughs>